SDK. Uh, what we're delivering is a corporate email from Microsoft Exchange or Lotus Notes to the iPhone. And the user simply goes in and clicks on the mail icon and they have one or more accounts that they're able to access. And when they go in and look at their inbox, they have all their messages. And it's very nice for scrolling through your messages like this. And then being able to uh, open up a certain message and be able to see the the message they sent and the content. You can hide the envelope or look at the whole envelope. Attachments are supported. If you want to go and see information about the person who sent it to you, you simply click and get their full contact information. You can go back to the message, back to your inbox. Uh, we can pick a message more with an attachment. And then you can do uh, reply, reply all, forward, My phone seems to be waiting on the reply L. Let's just wait a second for that. Um, but while that, there we go. While that's coming up, and then obviously it brings the keyboard up, and, and then you're able to, uh, you know, type in a short reply and be able to send that back uh, with a simple send. And so that, that attachment was forwarded on back to the person. And the attachment did, n did not need to be loaded down to the iPhone. It stays on the server and be able to go back to the server. So the other thing I'd like to show you is that you can go in and um, look in the corporate directory. And so you're able to go into the corporate directory and be able to search. So if we go in and try to um, search for um, something like that. Oops. And it'll go off and it'll do a quick search into the directory. And you can type in the whole name, you can type in the first name, last name, what it's doing, and it's going off and looking in the corporate directory right now to find all the people that would match that, and then bring those back so I can look at those. It's, uh, we're working on a system right now that's a development system, so occasionally you can get a delay like this. So you get back all the uh, all the names that match that, and if we take Brian, who's our CEO, look at his information, it'll go and be able to retrieve his full set of information, and so then you can do things like, um, you could click on a number and it would call him, you could click on his email address and it'll email him, or you can uh, click on the postal address and it'll bring up the Google Map. And so it, it ties into the other applications that are on the iPhone, like bringing into into the map itself, so then I can map and get driving directions and go visit Brian.